You almost always go out when you want sushi, but today we're gonna teach you how you can make it on your own with Leo and Helen Bao. They're from Blue Water Sushi in Ludlow, and they're gonna help us get on a roll, get it, making sushi. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? Good, I'm, I'm good. Uh, so first, we are going to learn how to make a cucumber roll. Yeah. yeah. So how do we get started? We need to put gloves on? Yes. Okay, grab some gloves, may I? This is important because we're dealing with raw fish, right? Mm. Sometimes. But this one, the cucumber roll is being cooked, so you don't have to worry about the raw fish. You can make it at home, very easy. Mm -hmm. but, but yeah, always safety first. So we mm -hmm. put the gloves on. Now we start with sushi. We start from with the seaweed. With pepper. seaweed, yes. yes. All right, so we have some, and, and all of these ingredients that we see here, they can be bought at a grocery store or maybe an Asian market? About uh, the seaweed, you need to go to the Asian market, you get that, and then the other one, you can grab the regular supermarket, like a big Y or Walmart. Okay. Now, is this something that's easy? Can people do it at home, or do you need a pro sometimes? I think the cucumber roll will be the easy. You just need to buy the cucumber from the supermarket everywhere you can. Okay. And then you grab the seaweed from the Asian market. Then that's all. And the rice, of mm -hmm. course. Then that'll be all. Then we don't need something else. So we have a professional here and we have a novice. So let's see everyone at home if they, if they can do it on their own. So we have our piece of seaweed. What's our first step? We grab the cup of rice. Nice. Okay. A little ball? Yes. Now, is this rice, oh, it's a little warm right now. Is it supposed to be this warm? Yes, okay. because the, if rice too cold, then it won't be able to stick together. So you're going to put the rice on the seaweed. Oh, for you're faster than me. One, very quick, and then I only need a three there to get in the rice on the seaweed. There's a lot more rice than I expected. Is that good? Yeah, good. Perfect. That could be filled Thanks, out Leo. more. You're welcome. <laughs> So we have the rice, and the rice isn't on the whole part. It's probably on two thirds of it, if you can see it at home. Now you can grab the rice. Oh, I spoke to too soon. Yeah. So yeah. you roll the rice down then on the whole piece whole of seaweed. seaweed. Now seaweed is very healthy. Is that right? Yes, that's the from the ocean. The green stuff from the ocean is <laughs> very good for your body, though. So once we've got our whole piece of seaweed covered, what's our next step? You want to put the uh, seaweed and the rice on the bamboo, so that would be happy you easier for roll up. Okay, I <laughs> get it, on the bamboo roll. Yes. yes. And now we add the cucumber. Yes. yes. You grab the cucumbers, then you put on the both sides. What are other vegetables that people like to put on their sushi rolls? Like avocado is a pretty good choice. Uh-huh. And you can put every vegetable if you like. Sometimes we put the apples in there too. Apples? Really? Yeah. I have never heard of that before. Yeah. What shouldn't we, is there anything we shouldn't put in our sushi? Mm, so far I don't really think so. All right, so hey, if you have it at home, you can put it in your sushi, but yeah. Everything but the kitchen sink. So now we roll. Yeah, you grab the seaweed and the cucumbers. And try to yeah. roll very tight? Very, very tight. Okay. Oh, you're, no, so then, you're, what, what we're doing is we rolled it over once and now we're cinching it a little bit yeah, just to ensure that it's very tight. Take the bamboo up a little bit and then keep it glowing. Okay, and then roll over. So you, yes. you squeeze it once, bring it back out, and then roll it over. Okay. Yes. And we're squeezing again. And then, now take it all the way back again. They stay uh -oh. together. Maybe. Yes. I was so close. How, can you close. help me fix it, Leo? <laughs> Neil is very professional, so don't worry, he will have you fix. But you know what, at the end of the day, it all tastes good, so that's all that matters. Perfect. So we are going to take a little break, but when we come back, we are going to make sushi with spicy tuna, right? Yes, spicy you want tuna? cutting that first? I can't wait, we'll cut it in a little bit, because I want to eat some. Yes. <laughs> We are back in the kitchen with Leo and Helen. Now we're gonna amp up the difficulty. So a few minutes back, we made a cucumber roll, which looks amazing, and it's right there. But now, we're making a dynamite roll. Yes, yeah. which was the spicy one in the blue water sushi. Okay, so it's a spicy roll. There's tuna in it, and my favorite part, there's going to be... Torture the fires. A torch. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> seems like we're having technical difficulties <laughs> with the torch. We'll get to this later. How do we get started? Same process Same again, though, with the rice. Getting the seaweed and getting the rice on. Okay. So we roll side, we push it sideways all the way, stick it really deep yes. and heavily, and now push it down Three times. throughout the rest of the roll. Yes. Leo, You're how doing am I doing? Good. Job. Good. Uh, good? Yeah. Can I can I come cook for you? Sure. Uh, still need to practice a little bit. Thank you. 
Yeah. Okay, so and we then have you evolve the rice. Oh, we're flipping it over. Yes. Yeah. Does this make a difference? Is if if it's rice on top or yes. sushi uh, or seaweed on top, like we have over mm -hmm. there? When you want the rice outside, you sieve it over, so make it rice outside the roll. I understand. And then now you feel the tuna, spicy tuna. So this is spicy tuna chunks. Yes. And it's raw, right? Yes, they are. So you obviously use sushi grade tuna now that you can find at the store. Now he's going cutting the avocados. Oh, you're fast. Mm. Of course, he has 40 <laughs> years of experience. That's not a lot of parties. Wow, look at you. I've never. Then we chop the. Are you watching this? This is amazing. Now we fill the avocado in there. Leo, you should come here every week and make a sushi for lunch. Oh, then you guys will be very tired for the sushi. Oh, very yeah, very full though. And it's healthy. Sushi, for the most part, is a very healthy um, option. Yes, they are. Okay, now you roll out the right, roll out the sushi, make the covers. And we don't use. Oh, we use the layer. Oh, we use the bamboo later. Yeah. Yes. I feel. I, I can do this. I can do this. Here we go. Now it's easier than the other one, right? Yeah, I'm getting better. I'm yes. learning. Now he will go in cutting the fish. That's the salmon fish. So this is a piece of salmon. Now, yes. When you go to the grocery store and you're looking for fish to make sushi with because you want to use raw, should you tell the grocer that you need a special kind of salmon? You need a very fresh sushi. Uh, ask him you want to get in the fresh one. The freshest, the freshest fish possible. Yes. And you need to keep it cool because there's nothing worse than hot yes. fish. Yes. You want to put the salmon on the top for the roll? Salmon on top. Yes. I just can't wait to get to the, uh, to the flame part of it. Yeah, now we're going to. Okay. Get the flame through. So we need a little bit of. I see. Now we need a party bag to cover Hopefully the. Hopefully this works. There it. Whoa! There it is. You be careful. I, you don't I, want fire on anyone. No, I don't. But it would make good television. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this on for everybody. Look at that. We're not fooling, folks. This is the real deal. Okay. Now you want use your oh. bamboo to make your roll light. Okay, so we get the bamboo again. Yes. So what, what we've done in the meantime while everyone's looking at the fire, we covered the sushi roll. With in, the prati bag. In you know the pra prati bag and yes. saran wrap um, is yes. another word that we use. So we push it over. Yes, yeah. then you cover that very nice. So we cinch it again basically to make it as tight as possible. Yes, not too tight though. Sometimes when you get too tight, you know, the rice will be too set. Oh. It wasn't nice. How's it looking, Leo? Good. I, there's a little excess coming out of the sides of mine. <laughs> because Yours, you push too hard, so when I push too hard. Okay, I understand. But this just means that I can have snacks earlier. Some okay. snacks coming out of the side for me. <laughs> now you're going to cut in the sushi by a piece. You want to cut it by yourself, but be sure. careful with the knife. The knife is very, very short. Okay. <laughs> don't cut your finger. I'll try not to. We like sushi, but we don't like get the finger yeah, sushi. Yeah, no, no one likes a finger in your sushi. <laughs> Nobody. We scare people. Exactly. No one want to eat this. And now keep the saran wrap on. Yes. And then we you squeeze again. Yes, yeah. you squeeze again to make it look better. Okay, I'm gonna try to <laughs> stick some of my sides back in. Now you taking the practice away. Take it away. Yes. All right. Now we're going to get some mayonnaise sauce on the top so we can torch that. Now a lot of uh, you know restaurants but supermarkets also sell this kind of sauce too so you don't need to make it on your own. Mm, it, yes, it, they are. It's just Thank you. You're but sometimes we, every restaurant they do have a little bit special one on top so mm -hmm. we can make it the right size. Like oh. our, you careful. <laughs> Stand we don't want back. <laughs> oh look at that. So does this change the flavor or does it just make it look very cool? They change the flavor too. You know the mayonnaise that was like oil when you cook down. Uh -huh. So the salmon on the top they still like warm a little bit. But in the bottom the tuna, spicy tuna is cold. So when you put on the mouth you have two different torture. Oh, on your mouth. That's so, and it smells incredible. I wish everyone yes. at home could smell it, but there's an amazing smell coming off of it. Now it's almost you like we're you searing the stuff, salmon. Or you want to happy you? Oh may I? Yes, yeah. you can, but be careful, don't want for me. I'll be careful. There we are, let's have some fun. How am I doing? Very, very good. All right, well, I cannot wait to dig in. I want to thank both of you for coming on the show, so I'm going to keep this going. After you try your food, you will feel happy because you make your own sushi by yourself. It's true. Well, thanks again. It was a pleasure to have you here.